Welcome to my YouTube channel. So in this video we will see how can we plot the PMOS characteristics in LTSPICE. So to start with this is the window of LTSPICE we will go to the new schematic. Here first of all we will go to the component and select the PMOS. Now this is the difference between PMOS and PMOS4. This is the PMOS4 in which the body terminal is not connected to the ground. However, in PMOS, the body terminal is already connected to the ground. So, I'll select board PMOS 4 and click on OK. Next, we will require two voltage sources. First voltage source will be VDS and the second voltage source has to be VGS. In terms of PMOS, we call VDS as VSD and VGS as VG, VSG. Reason because the voltages are negative in PMOS. Means uh, in NMOS, if you supply VGS as 5 volts, in PMOS, it becomes minus 5 volts. So, this is the basic reason. Next is, uh, we will require ground. So, we will provide ground here and connect all of them using this pencil. So, we will provide the connections like this and connect the body terminal of PMOS to ground. This is an extra wire. We will remove it. Okay. Next is uh, we will provide the voltages. So VGS I am taking as minus 5 volts and VDS I am taking as again minus 5 volts and click on OK. To improve the clarity I will rename V1 as VDS and V2 as VGS and click on OK. Now uh, this schematic will work fine if we include the model file of PMOS. How to do that? Uh, just go to Google Chrome and here type 180 nanometer model file, PMOS model file and click on OK. Here you are seeing that there are various sites. You can go to the first site which is says latest models of PTM. We will plot the characteristics for 180 nanometer BSIM 3 model. So click here. This gives the model file for NMOS as well as for PMOS. So when you will scroll down, you will file the one it, you will find the one in it, 180 nanometer PMOS spice parameters. What you need to do is place the cursor here and copy this all of this. Copy. Then go back to your schematic and click on dot op. This is the spice directive, and here right click and paste it and OK. So this is how you can include a model file of PMOS in this schematic. Next we need to provide the simulation command. So first of all I will plot VG ID versus VGS curve. So on X axis I will require VGS. So I will go to DC sweep and the first source is VGS and I will write here VGS type of sweep linear start value 0 and it has to go up to minus 5 volts. An increment I'll take is 0 0.01 and click on OK. Run it and tell the window vertically. Wait for this black icon to come. See. This is the characteristics of PMOS. Now you can verify that whether <coughs> our characteristics are fine or not by varying the parameters in the model file. As you can see in this model file, the threshold voltage is taken to be minus 0.42. Now let us change this threshold voltage from minus 0.42 to minus 1 volt and click on OK. And run it again. See, the curve has now shifted. Like you can see that the conduction is started only when the voltage exceeds minus 0.1 volt minus 1 volt sorry yes till 1 volt there was no current and as soon as the voltage exceeds minus 1 volt we can see the graph going like this so this is how you can vary the characteristics by making changes in the model file itself now next we will plot VDS versus ID curve for different different values of VGS just click on right click on this simulation command now here on X axis we want VDS so the first source becomes VDS and 
type of sweep is linear goes from 0 to minus 5 volt with an increment of 0 0.01 volt. Second source I want is VGS. Let us take the start value as 0, stop value as minus 5 and observe it for every 2 volts. So I will write here 2 and click on OK. This is my new simulation command and click on run. Again tell the window vertically and wait for this black icon to come and see. So you can see the curve for different different values of VGS for the curve between ID and VDS these are the characteristics that are plotted for different values of VGS. So this is how the characteristics of PMOS are plotted. If you have any queries you can post in the comment section below. Thank you.